What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Fireman E, and you are watching Fireman E Reacts. And as you can see, man, I'm back with another one. And before we get the video started, can y'all go ahead and get down there, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on that bell so you can see when I upload, man. And make sure y'all comment what y'all think about this video. Maybe we can go back and forth in the comment section. I reply to all comments. You feel me, good or bad. We can talk about, you know, different things. But for this specific video, we are reacting to top 10 Simpsons predictions that, we'll, that we will see in 2022. Now, The Simpsons has a history of predicting, people say, like, the inevitable where it comes to, like, all these different things. But... Some of, the, some of the videos I've seen in the past, man, I'm like, hmm, it make you think, like, how can you be that specific? So, I mean, we're going we gonna to see what they got, you know, and I want y'all, like I say, down below, let me know what y'all think about, you know, the Simpsons prediction. If y'all want me to go react to them, we can do the same thing, you feel me? So, without further ado, man, let's see what they talking about for 2022. We just had some crazy years, man, like I said. Man, make sure y'all subscribe, man. We got a lot more in store, man. So let's get it. I'm getting a little tired of The Simpsons predicting everything. From yeah. Donald Trump's presidency yeah, to the pandemic, they have accurately predicted a number of things. But what have they predicted for 2022? Mm. Well, that's what we're going to be looking at in today's video. Starting off this countdown, we have the trucker convoy. Recently, here in Canada, truckers are protesting around Parliament Hill against COVID-19 mandates. A convoy of big rigs are in Ottawa blocking off streets and access to the Parliament. And it seems like The Simpsons might have predicted this. In Season 10's Episode 17, Homer and Bart go on a cross-country journey as truck drivers. While doing so, they encounter truck convoys. And then, the trucks attempt to run them off the road before blocking the road completely. In fact, when Homer first spots the trucks, he says to Bart, Look, son, it's one of nature's most beautiful sights, the convoy. This episode aired in 1999. And that's what I was, I was just thinking, like, how do they do that so far in the past, I got her paws on a crazy look. But anyway, um, it's like when you think about somebody predicting something, you would think like, all right, life going this way. So this is going to eventually happen. But they be predicting something specific. You got the trucks, you got the, you know, the convoy when you relate to that, like the the country and all of these details that it's saying. So like they said, let's see what they talking about. Let's keep going. Now, what's actually funny is someone edited a clip from another Simpsons episode with this one. The episode was from Doe, Canada. In the clip, we see Trudeau escaping his office while the convoy clips. heads towards him. Now, that part is fake. Like I said, yeah. they edited two clips together. It's hilarious. But still, many people think that the Simpsons predicted this whole trucker protest situation. In our ninth spot, we have the large scale environmental disaster. Scientists have been concerned for a while now about the state of our earth. Due to climate change and global warming, we are going to be experiencing more drastic, severe and unpredictable weather, like floods, yeah. droughts, hurricanes, and wildfires, etc. We're at a point of no return, and in a couple of years, Earth might be completely destroyed. The Simpsons movie talks about a massive environmental disaster that basically leads to the destruction of Springfield. Or Let me know what y'all think about that. So do you feel honestly that, um, you know, you can study the Earth to a certain point to where you say, like, it's going to end this way, or is something that's really bad going to happen? So if that's really, like, the, the thing that's happening... Why isn't like somebody like, hey, let's, you know, completely stop everything. Let's reset. Let's focus on these resources. Make sure you got this. And, you know, it's just like, I feel like we just be going without, you know, really thinking. You know, we run into so much and that it's already known. People talk about things that's going to happen all the time. And all of a sudden, nobody's prepared. It's weird to me. For almost destruction of Springfield. The disaster is caused by Homer dumping a silo of pig feces into an already polluted Springfield Lake. Mm. And as we all know, pollution is a huge problem worldwide. Yeah. It's causing our air to become toxic and unbreathable in some places. In other places, it's polluting water supply and soil and contaminating crops. So The Simpsons might have been they onto something this. with that movie. In our eighth spot, we have the colonization of Mars. 
This mm. year might have been the year in which we colonize Mars. In season 27, episode 16, titled Margian Chronicles, Lisa signs up to be part of a mission to colonize Mars. As a result, she ends up on Mars with Marge. In the Simpsons episode, I believe it takes place in the year 2026, but Elon and his team at SpaceX have been trying to develop cargo ships yep. leaving for Mars in 2022. Jeff Bezos went already. So it certainly we will be the start of the colonization of Mars. In fact, by 2050, he wants to send a million people to Mars. How wild is that? Would you sign up to go to Mars, though? Mm. Let me know in the comments below. I personally... Let me know if y'all will go to Mars, honestly. You know, it's so much craziness here. You know, would you go there? Would you, like, steal, like, your social life and knowing that things can go crazy at any minute, like it already has been for the last two years, but... Hey, let's keep you going. would not, okay? I like it here. Moving on to number seven, we have the Bigfoot. Do you believe in the Bigfoot? I mean, over the years, a number of people have claimed to have encounters with it's it. So, so maybe it know. is real. But most of the population thinks it's all just a that hoax. In According to The Simpsons, yeah. though, this year we might find out more information on this furry beast. So there's two episodes I'm going to refer to here. In one this episode, episode, Homer is on a camping trip and ends up scene. looking like Bigfoot after falling into some mud. Mm -hmm. He's then captured by scientists for observation. They think they finally found this mysterious beast. Then in an episode from 2002 titled The Bart Wants What It Wants, Bart encounters Bigfoot while exiting a bus in Canada. Why does The Simpsons keep hinting at the Bigfoot? Do they know something that we don't know? In our sixth spot, we have the NFTs. NFTs are all the rage lately, and I'm not gonna lie, I still don't completely understand I them. I don't get it either. All I know is that people are buying these. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna call it right now. I think I found the single. I don't know about the, the NFTs just yet. I wanna really do studies. It's like, same thing with crypto. I'm not sure about a lot of stuff, so yeah, let's get back to it of apes wearing different outfits and they're called the bored apes yeah. surely you all have seen it by now and know what i'm talking about well take a look at this image of lisa simpson and tell me that it doesn't look like it could be part wow. of someone's collection of nfts this of image is. alone has people thinking that can, the simpsons predicted the rise of nfts but let me know your thoughts we are now that. at our fifth and halfway mark with about the crypto alongside nfts the other thing on the rise is crypto and another thing that i once again know nothing about <laughs> but in an episode from 1997, The Simpsons made a reference Invest, to it. Yeah. So this is from season eight, and the episode is titled My Sister, My Sitter. In the episode, there's a scene where we see Homer and Marge on a date outside. In the background, we see a crypto barn. It's literally called Crypto Barn. With the wow. slogan, a place for codes. Coincidence? Maybe. But why did they have that in the episode? And it's a place where you can buy codes. It's a little weird. It is. The Simpsons video game Tapped Out also mentions this place. In fact, this property is the most expensive place in the game with a mm. price tag of 81 thousand us dollars i don't know the whole thing is just so wild to me That's moving on to number about. four we have know. a mind control music now there's a reason why us humans feel so connected to because music. it hurts certain sort of sounds music. have the ability to comfort us irritate us make us happy make us sad and it might just be that they will eventually control us completely. First off, let's take a look at an episode from 2001 called New Kids on the Bletch, or Bleck, I don't know how to pronounce it, B-L-E-C-C-H. In the episode, we see Bart in a new band with his friends, but the band was using a secret mind control device for the Navy. So their music is actually a psychological yeah, uh, operation that reverse. is used to send children subliminal messages and control their mind. So people believe that in the future, songs will be used to control us. Some Do songs and music make you feel different? I want y'all to tell me that. I'm not sure. Like, sometimes I feel like it does, and sometimes I feel like it don't. I know the feel-good music, that's regular, but what about the emotional or angry music? I don't know. Like, I can listen to emotional song and go laugh and have fun. I don't know. It don't change me directly. I don't pay attention to it like that. Let me know what y'all think. People believe it's already begun. Like back in the day, there was that whole case of two people shooting themselves after listening to the song Better By You, Better Than Me. One of the men survived revealed that while listening to the song, they heard what sounded like, let's be dead. And then it just kept chanting, do it, do it over and over again. So it persuaded them into taking their own lives. So there might possibly be a rise in hidden messages and songs in an attempt to control us. Moving on to number three, we have World War III. 
Now, I really, oh. really, really hope this prediction like this doesn't come true this through. year or at all. Come but on. according to The Simpsons, it might. In the 1995 episode titled Lisa's Wedding, we dive 15 years into the future. From there, we see what life is like in the future. Now, in the episode, we see Homer and Lisa's fiance, Hugh, drinking at Moe's bar. During the scene, a very weird exchange goes on between Moe and Hugh, suggesting that there was a third world war. And with the whole Ukraine-Russia situation going on right now, yeah. this prediction has me spooked. Moving on to number two, we have yeah. robots turning against... So that's what I was going to say about the, the war real quick. It seems like they're kind of like inciting the war right now. You know, it seems like people doing different attacks that that's not highly publicized. So you never know, man. If something get really serious or get too close to home to one of those, you know, whoever's in charge, that's when things are going to change. That's how it always goes. It got to be something high level. So. Humans, aka the robot takeover. Uh, there robots. are so many movies out there that have showed us what happens when we give robots too much autonomy. But still, scientists are determined to make them. super powerful, smart, and independent robots, which is definitely not smart at all. Soon robots are going to become way smarter. In fact, you know, most of them already are. And they taking jobs, man. So people got careers, certain types of jobs, like restaurants in um, different countries, McDonald's and uh, Amazon. They don't have cashiers, like in certain stores. It's crazy, man. But then That's they sad, can just honestly. be like, hey, I don't want to be under your control anymore. And then they can just start attacking us. Yeah, Anyways, The crazy. Simpsons predicted that a robot takeover will happen. In fact, they hinted at this multiple times in different episodes. Yeah. One of them being the episode titled Itchy and Scratchy Land, yeah, which was episode four in season six. In this episode, large animatronic robots go haywire and cause mass destruction. They basically turn into killing machines, threatening the Simpsons' lives. Then there's this episode titled Them Robots, which is the 17th episode of season 23. And in this episode, Mr. Burns replaces all of the power plant workers with robots. But then this goes terribly wrong and the robots start to turn on the community. So The Simpsons not only predicted that robots will take over our jobs, but also that they'll turn against us yeah, and try to wipe out the human race. Man, that's different. How fun. Let's just hope that this prediction doesn't come true this year or at all. And in our number one spot today, we have one. the metaverse. The metaverse is defined as a simulated environment Facebook, that uses augmented man. reality, virtual reality, and blockchain. In this world, it mimics the real world, and in it you can interact, socialize, work, game, and experience other things that you would normally do in the real world. And guess who predicted this in an episode from over a decade ago? This the is. Simpsons. In the episode, we see the characters attach a cord to themselves and then disappear into a different reality. It's like Ready Player One. In this other reality, they have features like a Great place movie. that you can go gamble and a virtual friends list where you can add or reject people, kind of like Facebook, adding or rejecting friend requests. Mm. It's eerily similar as to what Mark Zuckerberg has planned, but The Simpsons came up with it first, so Marky Mark is a little thief. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all for today's so y'all man so with these predictions now some of these things are debatable i remember number six was debatable you know certain things are just like theories or you could translate it your way or however you want to look at it but a lot of these things do get crazy and they make me think on my own so i mean so i want y'all like i said we can debate about it we can talk about it we can say if it's a prediction you can say if like you know, somebody behind the scenes like, okay, we know we're doing this, so let's tell them. And then people know, but they're not going, you know, they see it on a fictional TV show. They're going to be like, oh, it's whatever. So let me know what y'all think about that, man. I feel like that's crazy for me. I don't know what to believe. Now, some of these things, it's like so direct and we don't know if it's going to happen yet. But with the other predictions, they got the Trump thing right. They got so many things right, you know, that's like you wouldn't see coming or you wouldn't believe that's going to happen. So, I mean, like I said, I want to hear y'all, you know, thoughts and opinions down below, man. And we can chop it up, man. But y'all know who it is, man. It's your boy, Five Man. E, you all watch your Five Man. E reacts. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and to the next one, man. Peace.